Hi, I'm Justin, and today I'll give you a tour of my minivan camper. To get things started, this is a 2023 Honda Odyssey. The reason we went with a minivan rather than something bigger like a Sprinter or a Promaster is we needed a new everyday vehicle. And I think a minivan is obviously a great everyday vehicle and can also be a great camper depending on your mindset and your requirements. So speaking of requirements, we basically had three main requirements when it came to this build. And one, I'm not particularly handy, so it had to be low effort. I didn't want to get involved in a lot of custom carpentry and things like that. Two, this is an everyday vehicle, so the switch out between camper mode and everyday mode has to be easy. And three, uh, sometimes my wife and I travel together, so we have two people sleeping in here, and sometimes we'll travel alone and there'll just be one. So we wanted to make it so that it can easily adapt between a two-person sleeper and a one. When it's a one-person sleeper, we wanted it to have more, you know, more room inside. So those were our requirements. Let's dig in. When I watch YouTube videos about custom van build-outs, I'm always interested primarily in the sleeping setup. So I won't keep you waiting, but before I dig in, I want to say I'm relatively tall. I'm six foot three. And so having a setup that was going to be comfortable for me was important. I think I succeeded. No, I know I succeeded. I've just spent the last 10 nights in this van sleeping comfortably. So let's investigate the bed setup. As I mentioned, I didn't want to create a bed platform, a custom thing with carpentry and all. I've seen some great ones online and I really admire them, but I wanted it to be really simple. So I searched for options that I could purchase online. And one of the bed options I found was from a company called Trunkmate. This bed is called the Blitz Bed. We'll go around to the other side here. And I want to give a shout out to Grant at Trunkmate because I wasn't sure at first if this was going to be the right solution for me. I had a lot of questions and Grant was always great about answering my questions and I ended up being really happy with this bed. So I'll explain the Blitz bed here. First of all, it's lightweight. It's easy to remove because it completely folds up into itself here. And then you can just take the bed out. I'll show a picture of what it looks like folded up. Right now I have it deployed. Um, it's made of wood and it's got aluminum supports and some wooden supports here. So for one, it, it's lightweight, it's comfortable. Um, I've got it tied down in a number of spots here, which allows me to confidently leave it deployed while I'm driving. And I've now gone a couple of thousand miles on this road trip and this bed hasn't moved an inch. While we're talking about the bed, let's take a look at what I'm sleeping on. I've got three different mattresses here, really. I've got first a layer, which is just a yoga mat, this white yoga mat. On top of that, I've got a thicker Pilates mat. And uh, they're both just closed um, cell foam. And then I purchased a, I think it's a three inch um, memory foam mattress on Amazon. And so those, those three things combined uh, make it very comfortable. I, you know, I'm no spring chicken anymore and my back can bother me when I'm camping and my back has felt great these past 10 nights sleeping on this bed with this mattress set up. I'll get in the bed here, you can see. For a guy who is six foot three, I've got plenty of room. It's great. But I've got a lot more to show you than just the bed. So stick around and let me show you the other stuff. All right, I'm in the living room now. I also turned on the fairy lights, which I forgot to turn on earlier. So because I didn't take the third row seats out, now I know taking the third row seats, these would have given me more storage in the trunk. But again, like I said earlier, I wanted to keep it simple. It's easy for me to take out those second row seats and put them back in. Getting the third row seats out is a little more complicated, so we opted not to do it. Now on the upside, it means that when I'm just solo traveling, I can put this seat up and it literally becomes my living room. I've had three or four nights on this trip so far where it was raining in the evening, so I couldn't hang out by the campfire. So I came inside, 
turned on the fairy lights, hung out in my living room seat and read a book and listened to the radio and it's been great. So speaking of trunk space, let's take a look at the storage area back there. All right, let's move on to storage. This is definitely a topic that is of interest to people who live in a van or want to live or camp in a van. How are you gonna store your stuff? So let's start here. Underneath the Trunkmate Blitz bed, I do have some storage. Now I could have more. This bed is adjustable. I could lift it up higher, but because I'm tall and I already have trouble sitting up without hitting my head in this van, I've got it as low as possible. Still, I have some room back here. I've got a, a camping uh, table that I put back here, and uh, sometimes I can put other things in there. I've got quite a bit of room. Uh, over here, I've got this is all my food and um, you know cooking setup stuff that doesn't need to be in the cooler. So I've got a milk crate where I've got my my little camping stove, my coffee set up because I gotta have coffee first thing in the morning. I've got uh, snacks and then I've got a couple more uh, bins here with more cooking and you know camping related stuff. Now of course uh, the Odyssey and any other van is gonna have some storage area. On the sides I've got um, jumper cables. I keep some extra water here and um, oh this well, I'll show you this later. This is part of the accessories. We looked at the trunk storage. Let's take a look at the other storage that I have in the van, and there's quite a bit. Okay, let's get started with the roof. So you may have noticed I have a rooftop carrier. It's a Thule brand. I've got my camping chair. I've got my hiking shoes, which I don't wanna keep them in the main area because they tend to smell. Uh, I'm also going backpacking as part of this trip, so I've got all my backpacking gear up there. Now, I'm solo on this trip, so I've got the front seat. I keep my water. I usually keep garbage there, but I just threw the garbage out. And then I can keep like any snacks and stuff I'm gonna eat during the day uh, right there. Looking here at the driver's side, I've also got what ended up being a surprise or you might call bonus storage here. I'll show you what I mean. So the bed, which um, you know you saw from the other side, there's actually you know maybe six inches of room or so, maybe more between the bed and the door area. And I thought that that was not ideal at first, but it turned out I've got a lot of storage here that is easy to get to and um, is sort of out of the way because normally I've got this door closed. So I've got here <laughs> dirty clothes. I've got my hiking clothes here. I've got some levelers for the tires, which I've only needed once so far. And then storage, I've also got all of these. Um, I've got sunscreens for each window here. One more storage option I don't currently have on here, but comes in really handy when my wife and I are both camping and we've got both beds in there and therefore a lot less storage area. I've got a cargo hitch here. And so I've got a trailer hitch cargo carrier that I can put a couple of totes on. I can also fit some firewood on there and it provides a lot of extra storage. All right, we've looked at a lot of storage, including where I put some food that doesn't have to go in the cooler. So let's look in the cooler. You may have already noticed the cooler. It's not like it's hidden. So, but I do have two coolers. Uh, first off, I, I put this cooler here and you might think it's gonna move around when I'm driving. I do have it bungeed here. I know it's not perfect. If there's a catastrophic accident, that bungee's not gonna do it. But, um, you know, so far that cooler hasn't moved an inch. Now I've got my, you know, my most of my food in here and beverages. And I also have this other little cooler, which I have, um, you know, some drinks. I can, <laughs> I can reach back from the driver's side seat and reach into this cooler and grab a cold drink while I'm driving. So one thing, we're also right here. What I've got here next to the bed, let me move the pillows, is, my clothes this works out really well one the clothes are easy to get to and two with the clothes back here it provides a little bit of a like a, a bolster that i can put my pillows on there and it really is very comfortable i could put my head up there 
and um, not just lay down but sort of you know lean up a little bit and it's provided it's a really great setup for the clothes and the pillows i've got a few more cool accessories to show you when you're traveling in the summer you're camping uh, you don't want to have the windows closed at night even in the shoulder season you want to be able to get some air to flow in your camper van so i don't want to have mosquitoes and insects coming in so i've got these skeeter beaters now i know you can and I'll, I'll put them on in a second so you can see how they look deployed i know you can you know build these sort of things yourself but again i want to keep it simple i had a bit of a budget so i bought them there i've got the skeeter beater deployed it sticks on with magnets here and it does a pretty good job it it allows me to roll down the windows and get some airflow. I'll put one on that window and I'll put one on that window. And then <laughs> I also bought this one off of Amazon, which can go on the moonroof or sunroof. And that really helps the airflow because it comes through here. You know how it works. It's great. I also have for the true summertime, I haven't needed it now this big mesh <laughs> screen that goes over that if you'd like to see it uh, deployed here let me know I'll do another video maybe just with the sort of screen setup options one more accessory to show you I've got this back of seat organizer which has worked out really well I've got this little broom here that <laughs> I use it every morning, keep the van as clean as I can. I've got bug spray, which I haven't needed on this trip. I've got garbage bags, a little towel, umbrella, and uh, overall it's been great. Well, that's about it for my minivan camper tour. Let me know if there's anything I missed or if you have any questions. Again, my name is Justin. Normally this channel has hiking and backpacking and other adventures. If that's your thing, please consider subscribing.